We've lost our hydraulics and feels like our pitch control. Everyone gets a little bit nervous during takeoff. It's the part of flying that's actually among the most dangerous. As I open the door, I go, oh, that's the front engine of a plane. And a failure during takeoff can have devastating results. From the top-notch warplane experiencing a dramatic failure to the scary moment for a passenger flight, here we bring you 20 plane takeoff failures caught on camera. <laughs> Number 20, British F-35 crash. Well, what we have here is a leaked video showing a British F-35 fighter plane plunging into the Mediterranean Sea. This happened after failing to take off from the aircraft carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth. The UK lost one of its most modern and expensive aeroplanes in the shocking event. It was one of eight F-35s aboard the new carrier. The video which was allegedly sneakily obtained from a Navy WhatsApp group, showed the dramatic incident from the morning of November 17th, 2021, in which the jet failed to accelerate up the ramp and crashed into the ocean shortly after takeoff. According to the British Ministry of Defense, the accident occurred during a routine operation over international seas. The pilot, who seems to eject safely in the video, was safely recovered to the Royal Navy aircraft carrier, and an inquiry was initiated. The planes are the most sophisticated and costliest jets in the world. They cost about 100 million pounds and can land vertically, combining radar evading stealth technology with supersonic speeds. And you definitely don't want to drop one in the ocean. Why not give us a like and hit that subscribe? Otherwise, the watery ghost of the F-35 might rise from the seabed to haunt you. Rawr. Time for the rare topic. Now here's a wild tale. Amidst the vast expanse of the sea, an F-18 Hornet streaked through the sky. Its day's work was done, and it was returning home to its aircraft carrier. Suddenly, a deafening snap rang out as the arresting cable on the aircraft carrier snapped, causing the plane to plummet into the waves below. Miraculously, the pilot ejected just in time, landing in the water. That's when something amazing happened. As he struggled to stay afloat, a pod of dolphins appeared, encircling him protectively. To his astonishment, they let him grab onto their backs, and they swam towards the distant aircraft carrier. The dolphins guided him through the water. A while later, the pilot found himself back on the carrier, safe and sound, thanks to his unlikely dolphin rescuers. What emotions do you think the pilot might have experienced during his ordeal? How do you figure the dolphins' behavior in this story? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now to the next topic. Number 19, airliner fails takeoff. Well, this pilot found themselves in a real pickle. Let me tell you, the aircraft started moving at a speed slower than a snail's crawl. The result, the nose lifts off the ground, but the thing doesn't quite get the lift it needs to fully take off. And then, just for fun, it stalls for a second before kicking back into gear at warp speed. Strange, isn't it? What could have happened here? I'm no aviation expert, but let's throw some theories on the table. Maybe someone messed up the flap settings or was playing mix and match with the V-speeds. In this day and age, shouldn't these oopsies be 100% avoidable, hmm? So why did the pilot not hit the brakes? Why take the risk with passengers, crew, and a big aircraft? Well, it's not so simple as that. Let's give some credit to the pilot for keeping their cool. They dropped the nose, got a good head of steam, and pulled off the save of the century. Some pilots might have gone into panic mode and grabbed those controls for dear life. It seems there was a glitch at the start, but that pilot deserves a round of applause for preventing a catastrophe. The captain's moves were on point. Number 18, F-35 crash. An F-35B military aircraft went rogue and crashed at the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base in Fort Worth, Texas. But the pilot had his wits about him and bailed out like a pro. A viral-worthy video caught the moment when this Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II jet tried some vertical landing tricks, turned into a nosedive, crash landed, and did a big bounce. Luckily, the pilot was floating gently back down to Earth while all this went on. Amidst the drama, the pilot decided he'd had enough of that wild ride and managed to unstrap himself from the chaos. But the plane wasn't done yet. It kept spinning like the Tasmanian devil on the runway.
Thankfully, the rescue squad was on the ball and swooped in to save the day. The pilot was all right, and that's a relief. Number 17, turbine blade fails during Airbus A330 takeoff. Now we bring you some turbine drama. Ever wondered what a turbine engine failure looks like? In this video, we've got front row seats to the show. An Airbus A330 was all set for takeoff, rolling down the runway, when suddenly at 105 knots, it took an unexpected right turn. That was a scary swerve. And then boom, a flash and some smoke up in the air as the number two engine went for some pyrotechnics. Quick on their feet, the pilots hit the brakes and the takeoff was aborted. And thanks to their skilled reactions, all 328 passengers and 11 crew members were just fine. The whole incident was triggered by a renegade turbine blade. This caused a near disaster, an engine surge and some engine and nozzle damage. Jet engines basically inhale air, squeeze it, spice it up with fuel, ignite, and then shoot it out the back for thrust. It's like creating a controlled explosion to fly gracefully. But if one major component like a turbine fails, it kicks the whole process out of sync and things can go bang like this. Number 16, part of Boeing 777's engine falls off. It was a snowy day and a diligent guy was shoveling away when he spotted something unusual. It was a piece of honeycomb-like material that caught his eye and in an instant, Kirby Clements knew exactly what it was. It was a fragment from the engine paneling of a Boeing 777. That engine, part of a United Airlines flight bound for Hawaii, decided to unexpectedly bail out over the Denver skies. Even now, Clements, a 68-year-old Broomfield resident, keeps finding these souvenirs from the sky, bits and pieces of engine debris scattered everywhere. His house is like a magnet for falling treasures. It welcomed a 10-foot diameter engine ring that decided to graze by, giving his Dodge Ram 2500 pickup a heavy tap in the process. But when I, as soon as I opened the door, I go, oh, that's the front engine of a plane. Meanwhile, nearby buildings also took their share of the engine's surprise confetti. Fortunately, and let's be honest, miraculously, the event left no injuries in its wake. Passengers and those on the ground, like Clements and his wife, Marianne, have their own stories to tell from that fateful February 20th, 2021. United Airlines isn't off the hook either. Legal battles and settlements with passengers are underway. Number 15, JetBlue Airbus forced to abort takeoff. A JetBlue Airways flight was all set to jet from Las Vegas to Boston, only to throw up something a little unsettling. Smoke decided to pour out of its engine just before liftoff. It was a Sunday morning and JetBlue Flight 178 was all geared up to leave Las Vegas McCarran International Airport. Its destination was Boston Logan International Airport, but the flight decided to make a U-turn. Reports say that the plane's right engine had a serious smoky moment right before takeoff. It was quickly contained though, the plane did a swift about face and headed back to the gate. Good news, everyone safely deplaned, but the aircraft's day of work was done. McCarran airport officials had an extra piece of info to share. A fire had started in the plane's engine. Meanwhile, passengers were buzzing about an engine that had an epic fail. It was a real nail biter. Number 14, Airbus A320 emergency landing. An Airbus A320 recently decided to land with a nose gear that had rotated to full 90 degrees. That nose gear went all sideways for its grand landing. This time around, it was a LAT-AM flight, LA-4292, making its rounds in Colombia. Before the whole nose gear twist took center stage, a team of engineers were doing their thing with the plane. What were they up to? Well, that's a mystery the flight's passengers might want the answers to. Once everything seemed sorted, the plane finally took off, albeit late, by three and a half hours. But mid-flight, the crew realized there was a glitch in the nose gear's steering. Seems the problem hadn't been resolved at all. They decided to descend from their climb at around 13,000 feet. They even circled for about half an hour, like a plane in a holding pattern, doing checklists and making sure all was right. Eventually, they made the gutsy choice to land, not with their nose gear in its usual spot, but with it stuck over to the right. But in spite of the technical hitch, all 147 passengers on board got to their destination safe and sound. American Airlines proudly holds the title of the largest A320 operator, boasting an impressive fleet of 469 of these aircraft. 
Back in October 2019, the A320 family achieved a remarkable milestone by outpacing the Boeing 737 to become the top-selling airliner in the market. Now at July 2023, we're looking at a massive 17,737 A320s ordered, with 10,997 of those already delivered. With over 340 operators around the globe, 10,256 of these aircraft are up and running in active service. The A320 was officially launched in March 1984, took its inaugural flight on February 22, 1987, and took to the skies for commercial operations in April 1988, thanks to Air France. It's not just an aircraft, it's a piece of aviation history that has taken flight in more ways than one. Number 13. Pilot makes emergency landing on busy highway. Vincent Fraser was flying high with his father-in-law over North Carolina, but he found himself in an aviator's nightmare. He had engine failure. This was the heart-pounding moment he handled a single-engine plane that decided to doze off in midair. Vincent didn't panic. He was cool, calm, collected. He went through his checklist like a professional pilot. He managed to wake the engine up again for a moment but it was playing hard to get, giving him only a measly three to five seconds of flight before it cut out again. Vincent saw Route 19, that wide ribbon of road below, and decided it was as good a runway as any. And the best place that we can, uh, you know, land without hurting anybody. With traffic coming from all sides, he descended, weaving through the lanes. Just check out how nail-biting this footage is. It shows Vincent touching down just feet away from power lines with all the skill of a seasoned pilot. Emergency services must have thought they were in for a catastrophe, but Vincent managed to pull off a landing that'd make even the coolest action movie hero proud. And guess how much flight experience he had? Less than a hundred hours, and he got his pilot's wings just eight months previously. Number 12, engine failure landing practice in a Cessna 152. Here is an amazing video showing you engine failure landing practice in a trusty Cessna 152. This is the ultimate test of flying finesse. It's all about nailing perfect pitch, power, and slip. You've got no air brakes to save the day, so it's precision control all the way. Forget just pushing buttons and turning knobs. You're really piloting this plane. And when the engines fail, you have to know what to do. This pilot shows just how skillful you have to be to succeed at this kind of dramatic moment. It's an important part of training, that's for sure. The Cessna 152 is an American two-seater fixed tricycle gear plane that's used often for flight training and also personal aviation fun. Built upon the legacy of the Cessna 150, this plane has a bit more power and some design tweaks. Even though production stopped almost four decades ago, these beauties are still up in the sky, soaring through flight training sessions like this one. It's a piece of history on wings, and every flight is a chance to learn about the aircraft's true capabilities. Number 11, skydiver's plane goes down with jumpers on board. Here, we have a truly lucky escape. 17 skydivers were soaring through the skies from the Parachute Center Skydiving School in Lodi, California, when suddenly their small plane hit a rough patch with its engine. That's when the pilot decided it was time for an emergency landing. The plane did a nosedive, then, had a close encounter with a truck, and just when you thought things couldn't get crazier, it flipped over and landed upside down. <laughs> the most astonishing part is that everyone on board walked away with nothing more than a few cuts and scrapes. Sebastian Alvarez, one of the skydivers, caught the heart-stopping saga on his GoPro. He said, We react in a really good way. We never panic. We put our seatbelts back helmets back on and be ready for an emergency landing. Seatbelt box, helmets back on and be ready for an emergency landing. Against all odds, the pilot managed to steer the plane away from power lines and a nearby house, landing it upside down in a vineyard across the highway. And believe it or not, not a single person on the ground got hurt either. Emergency services rushed in and everyone, skydivers and the brave pilot, emerged from the plane with only minor injuries. It's like a real life miracle in the skies, showing that quick thinking and teamwork truly can save the day. Number 10, emergency plane landing in Mojave Desert. Now we have a small Beechcraft Sundowner aircraft zooming from Needles, California to Chino, California. All seems well until the engine decides to give up the ghost, leaving the pilot and passenger in quite the pickle. 
The plane's engine spewed up its oil, causing it to stall. Now, what do you do when your engine decides to fail mid-air? The pilot, whose identity remains a mystery, took charge. With no airfields nearby, the Mojave National Preserve in the eastern part of Southern California became the chosen landing spot. It was a remote stretch of desert, so definitely a good choice in a pinch. The video recording, filled with radio buzz, reveals the intense moments of the descent. With each passing second, the ground gets closer, the propeller stands still, and the tension is palpable. The pilot's composure is admirable, and the passenger, while fairly quiet throughout, can't help but exclaim when the wheels finally touch dirt. A cacophony of crashing sounds, a blaring alarm, and a surprised, oh my god, from the passenger, this story has all the elements of a blockbuster movie. In the end, despite the adrenaline pumping ordeal, both the pilot and the passenger emerged. Number nine, pilot makes emergency landing on highway. Imagine driving down a Washington state road, lost in a sea of cars, when all of a sudden, a small plane decides to join the traffic jam. Police dash cam footage captured this unbelievable event as a single propeller KR2 plane took an unexpected detour from the skies to the streets. The video shows the moment trooper Johanna Batiste spotted the plane flying low over her cruiser. With a quick jerk of the steering wheel, she transformed into a real-life runway chaser. Following the plane's daring descent, the pilot executed a perfect emergency landing, almost brushing a bustling intersection. According to trooper Batiste, the pilot touched down gracefully despite a fuel system failure that turned his aircraft into a glider. In a show of solidarity, a fellow trooper stepped in to lend a hand to steer the plane out of the traffic and into a parking lot. And just like that, this is how a regular road turned into an unexpected airstrip. Number 8. U.S. Airways Plane Landing on Hudson River This is one flight story that really did turn into a Hollywood blockbuster. A routine U.S. Airways flight, 1549, took off from New York City's LaGuardia Airport, aiming for Charlotte and Seattle. But on January 15, 2009, just after liftoff, the Airbus A320 collided with a flock of birds, turning its engines into pulp. With no engines at their disposal and a rapidly diminishing altitude, pilots Chesley Sully Sullenberger and Jeffrey Skiles found themselves in a life-or-death situation. But did they panic? Nope. Instead, they coolly made the daring call to glide the giant metal bird down to the Hudson River, right in the heart of midtown Manhattan. Miraculously, all 155 souls on board were saved by the nearby boats, with only a handful of serious injuries. The entire sequence from bird strike to water landing lasted less than four minutes. It must have felt like a lifetime to Sully and his co-pilot. This spectacle earned the nickname The Miracle on the Hudson, and aviation history was made. The National Transportation Safety Board declared it the most successful ditching in aviation history. Though hindsight showed they could have made it actually back to LaGuardia, the board gave them a big thumbs up for their life-saving decision in the moment. For their heroics, the pilots and flight attendants received the Master's Medal of the Guild of Air Pilots and Air Navigators. And if that wasn't enough, their tale was brought to life on the big screen in the 2016 film Sully, starring none other than Tom Hanks as Sullenberger. Number 7. Airplane Crash in Cockpit Footage We're diving right into a cockpit view of a nasty incident here, with four people on board, a Stinson 108-3 revved up for takeoff from Bruce Meadows Airport in Idaho, USA. But things quickly took a nosedive, literally. The plane smacked into trees and then the ground, ending up upside down. The pilot wound up with some serious injuries. One passenger got off with minor cuts and bruises, and the other two passengers miraculously walked away, unscathed. So what's to be learned from this chaotic scene? Well, firstly, pre-flight planning on the pilot's part was allegedly not up to scratch. It was a high-altitude airport, a hot day, a tailwind, and a plane that's fully laden with passengers and gear, a recipe for disaster. This combo left the aircraft struggling to climb and clear the trees in its way. In the end, this was a tough lesson about the importance of proper planning and a reminder that flying isn't just about taking off, it's also about ensuring you have the right conditions for a safe and smooth landing back on the ground. We really hope the pilot made a full recovery from this one. Number six. Police Helicopter Crash The Little Rock Police Department's helicopter was on a flatbed trailer, with its blades doing a whirl. But out of nowhere, a rogue burst of strong wind swept in. And suddenly, the helicopter thought it was one of those new pilotless aircraft. But no, 
things went sideways pretty quickly. Pilot extraordinaire and retired officer William Bill Denio did his best to steer the ship, but the wind had other plans. The helicopter decided to make an unscheduled landing on the trailer, then do a roll to the right and execute a dramatic crash landing on the ground. Denio had a rough landing too, getting knocked out cold by the surprise flight. The rescue squad had to work some serious magic to get him out from under the helicopter debris. As for Denio's memory of the whole ordeal, he couldn't recall a thing. But it turns out that gust of wind played a major role in the helicopter's aerial dance. Officer Matthew Smith, who was there to catch all the action, said the blades had a irregular rhythm. And despite Denio's best efforts to hit the brakes, the chopper went out of control. Number five, Aerosucre B-722 crash. In 2016, Aerosucre Flight 157 took off from Germán Olano Airport in Puerto Carreño, Colombia, headed for El Dorado International Airport in Bogotá, but things took an unexpected turn. The Boeing 727-2J0F was all set for takeoff, but sometimes plans go a little off script. This plane had a major runway mishap. It overran the runway during takeoff like a runaway train. It hit the fence, brushed against a few obstacles, and had a serious wobble before taking off. However, the party was short-lived as the aircraft lost control and took an unplanned nosedive about four nautical miles from the airport. Out of six aboard, tragically, only one survived, coming out with some serious injuries. Investigations turned up a variety of reasons for this misadventure. It seems the aircraft was carrying more than it should have. It was overweight for takeoff. Couple that with an incorrect takeoff technique and a tailwind, and this disaster was one waiting to happen. Believe it or not, some nearby motorcyclists caught this spectacle on camera. It's shocking to see the sad end of this huge plan, and hopefully the right lessons have been learned. Number four, light plane crashes into trees. The Antonov An-2 is known for being a jack-of-all-trades aircraft. It really excels in the face of challenges. Its ruggedness made it a legend that can take off and land almost anywhere. But on a sunny day in Vorgorda, Sweden, a 78-year-old Swedish pilot, Kjell Bratfors, decided it was time to put his AN-2 to the ultimate test. He had a bold plan to take off from a road, but with traffic everywhere, he switched to a nearby field instead. This wasn't your typical open runway. It was a compact field surrounded by some rather tall trees. Common sense might have waved a red flag here, but Bratfors had other ideas. With the nerve of an adventurer, he pushed the throttle and the AN-2 rumbled to life as it roared down the makeshift runway. The aircraft struggled to lift its wheels off the ground. It crashed into the foliage with a spirited thud. Witnesses caught this daring escapade on camera and the video captured the AN-2's valiant yet ill-fated attempt to conquer the skies from a field. Sometimes even the most iconic workhorses need a bit more room to spread their wings on the other hand, Bratfors was completely fine, apart from having to face a serious dressing down from the Swedish aviation authorities. Fifan. Number three, plane crashes onto a road in Orlando. An astonishing video has surfaced, giving us a Cessna plane on a road trip. This airborne adventure turned misadventure, unfolded as the plane reportedly ran into a bout of mechanical hiccup. This aviator found themselves in a rather tight spot attempting to land their Cessna on a road. But hey, it's Florida, or anything can happen, right? I mean, Florida man, miraculously, the pilot emerged from the wreckage unharmed, as if they'd just hopped off a theme park ride. The Orange County Fire Rescue couldn't believe their eyes. No injuries, just a shaken but spirited pilot. Samia Masood, whose home narrowly missed being a landing pad, recounted the heart-pounding moment. Boom, she said, as the plane made its surprise entrance. The shockwave and the adrenaline rush were real, but she managed the most important question even amidst the chaos. Are you okay? The pilot's yes brought a sigh of relief to Samia. Meanwhile, a vehicle cruising down the road managed to capture this daring landing on camera. The Cessna fought a battle against gravity, trying to steady itself before nosediving into the earth with a thud, while the plane might have left a dent in Samia's newly lain driveway. She's just thankful the pilot walked away unscathed from this scary moment. Number two. Cessna 180 takeoff ends in trees. On March 30th, 2022, the spotlight was on a Cessna 180 as it took a chance at Lampasas Airport in Lampasas, Texas. The pilot, Robert Earhart, had quite the airborne escapade in store. And unlike his famous namesake, Amelia, 
his flying career was going through a rocky patch. The landing was as rough as a tumbleweed's journey in a gusty windstorm, right at the limit of the airplane's crosswind comfort zone. With winds howling, Earhart hatched a plan. Why not take off from the taxiway that pointed more directly into the wind? It seemed like a solid plan to conquer the wind. Yet this scheme had some unexpected turns and twists and near loop-the-loops. As Earhart throttled up for takeoff, he soon realized that the wind wasn't blowing the way he thought it was. So instead of a genius plan to change aviation history, it turned out to be a top contender for the Darwin Awards. Is this the dumbest takeoff in history? Probably not, but it was far from the smartest and he ended up perched on a bunch of trees for his troubles. I don't think Amelia would have approved one bit. Number one, medevac helicopter crashes immediately after takeoff. July 4th, 2020 was a day of sky high unexpected drama. An Airbus helicopter BK-117 took center stage at Wayne County Airport, Worcester, Ohio, in an incident that left everyone scratching their heads. The crew aboard an airborne ambulance were given a wild ride in the sky. As the helicopter took off from its portable dolly, things started to get interesting. The helicopter, operated by the Metro Aviation, decided to do a little dance in the air. A sharp right turn and a brief hover later, the helicopter was ready to show the sky who's boss. But as it rose into the air, a surprise awaited. The grassy area adjacent to the ramp turned out to be hiding something unexpected, a silt construction fence, camouflaged by the tall grass. Just as the helicopter began its ascent, the fence decided to make its move, getting tangled up with the main and tail rotor system in a whirlwind of chaos. Then we have a forced landing, a controlled descent that saved the day. Yet, the helicopter didn't emerge undamaged. The aftermath revealed a story of substantial damage. The fuselage, tail boom, and tail rotor blades all took a hit. How do you feel about flying after all these crazy videos? Do you love planes or do you prefer to keep your feet on the ground? Maybe skateboards, roller skates? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff, showing up of stuff.